inspired by places I've been, the colours, the textures and emotions and places I really want to visit. I like to feel their rhythm, their conversation and enthralled by their colour and texture. I think the everyday is very inspirational. It holds the beauty and watching the seasons change, laughing with friends and I love the roar of the ocean. I want to convey colour and movement in my inspiration and how I respond to these visuals that I have. My textile artwork is not an accurate or literal depiction. It's what I feel in my heart. It's what makes me smile. It's how I'm moved. I love to use silk in particular. I love hand dyed fabrics. I love found objects, treasures, papers and fabrics. I love hand painting my own silk because of the accidental effects you get. You never know quite how that fabric will finish, which makes it very interesting to use in my artworks. I layer, I tear, I fold, I stitch, I mount the fabrics, I paint fabrics, I hand stitch fabrics and I use my sewing machine to draw all these elements together to form my vision. Often my initial design is not where I end up. I find the fold in a fabric can change me in a new direction. I find a little bit of gold buff illuminates a whole area and changes the direction. I do not procrastinate over colour. I do not want a perfect stitch. I don't see the necessity for that. It's a journey. Textiles is a journey and it's very forgiving. If you make a mistake, you simply recolour it, you restitch it. Life isn't perfect. Life is full of ups and downs. It's full of good things and bad things, exciting things. I'm producing an artwork that should have an emotional response to the viewer. I'm really passionate about the garden. I love leaves, I love watching them twirl and swirl and fall to the ground and the way they sparkle in the sunlight and old city doors that hold so many secrets and so many stories. I love that idea of everything that they must know and what they could share with us. These are the things that really inspire me in my artwork. These are the things that tickle the imagination. Being a teacher, my goal is to inspire my students and get them to use new materials and new techniques and to hold these creative ideas in their hands and their head and their heart and make these possibilities their own and for them to be inspired by this creatively in whatever they do for the rest of their lives. I'd really like to share with you all my favourite quote by Roald Dahl. It's very important to me because it inspires me and it helps me think about the world in a creative way. And above all, watch your glittering eyes the whole world around you because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it.